Did you notice that Jesus said to the rich young ruler who he loved, Come follow me? Yes, he said to him, Sell all you have, give it to the poor, and come follow me. This was the call which was reserved for the disciples who would later become apostles. This was that special call. Imagine if this young ruler had said yes. Imagine the impact he would have had on the world. Imagine how truly great he would have been. I remember the demoniac who was delivered by the Lord. That demoniac who was living amongst the dead in the graves. He asked the Lord to let him follow him. And Jesus says, no. Go. Go to your friends and family. Go tell them what I have done for you. But this rich young ruler... Jesus said to him, come, follow me. He gave him the same call that a Peter, James, and John received. Come, follow me. He wanted to be great, and he wanted to be certain of eternal life. And he was being called to greatness beyond measure. The scripture says today we are building upon the foundations of the apostles and prophets. The foundation of the apostles and prophets with Jesus Christ himself being the capstone, the chief cornerstone. This rich young ruler could be in that. The new Jerusalem, the, the, the foundations are laid we see the scripture speaking of and being named after the 12 apostles. This rich young ruler could have been involved. He could have been the replacement for Judas because the Lord already knew that Judas would have been the betrayer. But he missed the call because he was so distracted by the cost. He missed the call to greatness because he was distracted by the momentary loss. He missed the call because he was too attached to what he was called to let go. Why was he called to let go his riches? Because he was too attached to them, as his reaction showed. And the Lord is a jealous God. It is important that he be our only God. The question then I want to ask us is what greatness are we rejecting because we are too attached to current things or current persons or current situations? What greatness are we rejecting because the cost seems too great. What eternal good are we risking in exchange for temporary pleasure, fame, or fortune? What does it profit 
you. What does it profit me? To gain the old world and lose our soul. Are we rejecting greatness because we are afraid of a temporary loss? Let's talk about it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.